Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Gear Up episode on Modern Warfare 3. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Beretta ARX 200. This is the standard uh, AR slash battle rifle variant that uh, you know you get in the game right off the bat. Not much of it is modified, and I tried to keep it as realistic as possible. Of course, the two tone. I believe this rifle doesn't come in a two tone, but anyways, I decided to uh, you know put in more of like a desert style two tone camo. But anyways. So, very simple build. Let's take a look at it. Uh, more of your traditional AR build. So, very tactical, very cool looking, but definitely very useful as well. So, this is more of a multiplayer build. However, you guys can use this in Warzone. The only thing you will have to change is the magazine size. Because, of course, in Warzone, the 30 round mag, it, it just won't cut it unless you're playing solos. But if you're playing with squads or trios, you know, duos, whatever, 50 round drum mag is recommended. But anyways, let's get into the build here. So, starting off with the muzzle as always, we're using the Bore 490. Moving on to the laser, we're using the DXS Flash 90. This is actually a flashlight, it's not a laser, but, you know, it's in the same category. For the optic here, we're using the AMOP V4, which is more like a T2 style optic, you guys already know. For the magazine, we're using the 30 round 762 by 51 millimeter round. Or sorry, magazine. Uh, again, for Warzone, highly recommend the 50, but it kind of takes away from the realism. So we're going to run the 30 round mag for now. And then moving on to the underbarrel here, we're using the Bruin Tilt Grip, which is more of like an MOE style grip. Personally, this is one of my favorite looking ones. And on top of that, I have this actually in a different variant. So this is the normal default one, which looks great. Definitely run this one as well. But if you guys have the corporal state, you guys kind of have like that duct tape, or sorry, the electrical tape wrapped around it a little bit. I think it just adds to the aesthetics. It's really cool looking. So highly recommend uh, trying that and running that out. Or sorry, running that. But anyways, let's go ahead, hop into the firing range. I'll let you guys listen to it and then we'll do a quick little recoil test as always. Okay, so I don't know what happened to my controller um, a little bit earlier when I was doing the, the um, canted reload. I apologize for that, but anyways, let's go ahead and do our usual recoil test in full auto, of course. So let's pretend like, you know, we're running this in a multiplayer set slash uh, battle royale, you know, game. And we need to actually shoot someone long range as well. So first, second, and then third here. So it's definitely manageable. Now in Warzone, you're going to need to shoot a lot more, but... In multiplayer, it's definitely possible to use this thing. Ignore my controller. This thing has crazy stick drift, and I don't know why. I haven't even touched it for a while, but it's like insane. But yeah, gun's great. Definitely recommend trying it out. Now, you might have to burst it here and there, but other than that, it's perfect. I think it's very well balanced. It is a battle rifle, so I don't really uh, get surprised with the recoil, and especially with a 7.62. But uh, it's a lot of fun. So definitely try it out, especially in Milsom situations. I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, join me back in my next videos. I'm streaming now more often, so definitely join me in my streams. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you guys are interested in any Amazon products, go ahead and check it out in the description below. It's my PC build. It's basically what I run uh, with my PC. Now, it's not the components inside the PC, but it will be like my mouse, my keyboard, headset, so on and so forth. So check it out if you guys are interested in that. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Peace out, everyone. And uh, see you guys in my next one.